How's it going everyone and welcome to part 5 of our Game Dev Tycoon series. Let's get started. Alright, so we release, recently released our last game and also our most successful game by a very large margin. Race LMAO. A very dank game, of course. Alright, yeah. We, we just hired uh, Bill, so that's why everyone's not doing great. Alright, finally sold. Um, yeah, since everyone's efficiency is down, we're just going to let uh, us yeah finish up with that. And then we'll, uh, after we, uh, re oh my god, after we release another game, we'll uh, train everyone up. But we're going to go music. Uh, we just released a simulation game, eh? Wrong menu. Racing simulation, okay. So, we're not going to do a... No, it's not going to be a simulation, actually. Scratch that. We unlocked casual, so we're going to do a casual music gameling game. Young. I don't know, fun funky beats or something. LMAO. Alright. 3D graphics V1, have to, uh, which is fine for the gambling, it doesn't matter, but we need to, uh, level up that graphics option, which we should have been doing this entire time, but I literally didn't know that I, uh, hadn't unlocked an engine with it. I thought we were leveling it up for some reason, but whatever. Um, high gameplay, low stories and quests, that seems fine. Get rid of this, uh... Get rid of the uh, engine save game. Keep that. Alright, we have a couple people that we can allocate things to now. So, Deborah will get engine. Since it doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, Bill will get stories and quests. And Ralph can handle that gameplay, I guess. Nice. Pretty decent amount of points to uh, start the game development off with. Uh, I got. Hi, this is Tom Mott. 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 What an interesting name. From Center. I got word that D's Nuts is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Agree. What is your expectation regarding the success of Funky Beats LMAO? Do you think that the game will be well received? Oh my god, jeez. Could I get some more notifications, please? Also, uh, basically, we can either choose to hype the game up, which will give us a ton of hype, and if it's successful, sell a lot more copies, or be modest, which will still generate a little bit of hype, uh, but if it fails, it, it won't really affect the sales. But if, a, uh, if you release a bad game, but you overhype it, uh, it'll not sell at all, pretty much. I think we will go with uh, hype, though. So as you can see, yeah, we got a bunch of hype. Developing a great game is not the only recipe for success. It is central to build hype to ensure that players are excited about your game. Excuse me. Yeah, of course. In the beginning of your career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to gain hype. All right, yeah. So I made many casual music games in the past so um we will uh I, th I think we can make a good game out of it all right dialogues let's see um guess yes i'll handle uh no bill will handle level design i'll handle artificial no dang i have to set it first jeez um what's don't think we need any dialogues. Um, no, I think it's no artificial intelligence, low dialogue, and then basically all level design. So we will allo still allocate Bill to level design. Ralph can do dialogues, I guess, and then I can do artificial intelligence, I suppose. It doesn't really matter who we choose since... If you have it like at the bottom, it's only 10% anyway, so. Yeah, this episode's gonna be um, much shorter than um, 
other ones I've released so far, I guess, because it is rather late at night. I just decided to uh, record something last minute, pretty much, because I um I record these uh, one at a time, whenever, pretty much. I've been trying to get into a set schedule. Um, it has been daily for the past like three days or so, I believe. Um, so yeah, I, I I figured I would just actually release something. Um, it is probably going to be like 15 minutes, so. I don't think anyone really cares much. A lot of people don't have time to uh, actually sit around and watch a video. But enough uh, that. So yeah, my name is Jeff, World Design. Um, what is good and casual? I think high graphics, and then like no world design, and then like a little bit of sound. Yeah, I feel like that's how it is. Um. I'll get design. Deborah has. I can do graphics and design actually. Um, and sound? Yeah, I can. I don't really care about the uh, staff allocation budget. Or bonus, rather. I'm not sure what it does 100% actually. But, oh well. Send this guy on vacation. Ralph. Good guy, Ralph. It's never done me too wrong. Alright, try and get as many points as we can out of it. That seems fine. I think that's records in both things. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, it was the um, good option to choose hype. Because um, the game meets every... Uh, Ralph uh, got a raise, there we go. Unlocks, more. Unlocks. So yeah, the game is... Uh, it hits everything perfectly, platform and genre, audience, match, age match, that type of thing. Um, so it was a good call to uh, do hype game. Even still though, after playing this game literally for like four years now, um, I will occasionally randomly release just a really poor game, even when everything I know all the sliders are right and I'm and I'm honestly just not quite sure why that happens but do you want better sound or AI I think we'll go sound actually I tend to focus more on although it sounds a mix I tend to focus more on design because that's what you know the huge easy genres are in RPGs that type of thing so yeah, pretty good game. Not 10 out of 10, but um, very high. That'll rake in the dough. Alright, 50 grand in the first week. 500,000. Dear Deez Nuts, we have followed your progress in recent years and would like to extend their formal invitation to participate in the biggest game convention of the planet. Games, 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 also known as G3. Huh, I have no idea what they're trying to uh, parody, I know, right? By having your own company booth at G3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype for your games, and we think our audience would love to see you there. We will contact you yearly with booth options. Hope to see you at G3, the G3 committee. Alright. So yeah, that's what I was talking about a couple episodes ago, or last episode. In the exclusive interview a while ago, my name is Jeff from D's Nuts, <laughs> made very bold remarks about their then in development game Funky Beats LMAO predicting that it would be over su uber successful. Now that the game is out on the market, the consensus is that My Name is Jeff was spot on as the game has received very positive reviews. Overall, this has had a positive effect on sales. So yeah, as I was mentioning. Uh, speaking of mentioning something, yeah, it's a, I, I unlock, I was talking about it, that's a main type of marketing that I use since games in the later stages take start to take years or about a year to uh, develop I think for the biggest game um, so yeah you, you usually just select a booth E3 about like a halfway three quarters into the game making process you get hype from it great combination world design not important alright yeah Bill's still new you can research uh, Vocabulary, I guess. So, yeah. Alright. Now we can, um, make a new music. 
casual. No, we literally just released this thing. But, uh, tired, I guess. Anyway, Game Dev, why not? I think we already. Yeah, we made one before called like Game Dev Meta or something. Haven't unlocked sequels yet, actually, now that I think about it. Just PC, E, medium. Game Dab Tycoon. Er. Sounds good. Alright, 3D graphics you want again. Nice. So yeah, our games are starting to become pretty successful. Pretty big. Uh, okay. Try and get that high. About a quarter here, I guess. Get everything's fine. Alright, Deborah Engine. Yeah, yeah, she can handle that. Bill is on Stories and Quest. Yes, okay. Sounds good. It seems that the market has normalized again with no particular strong trends at the moment. Alright, so I guess we missed a trend on something. I wasn't paying attention to it, though. Alright, here we can um, choose the booth option. It is pretty expensive, but we're going to choose the largest one. It's going to be in about four weeks, so, um, yeah, it'll be worth it. Hype this game up into oblivion. Hopefully our tech, not tech, just points in general are, are high enough to uh, actually make a good game. Uh, get that level design there. And high artificial intelligence. That was a timer. I'm not sh still not sure how long we're recording. I um, actually did set the timer this time, but I did it rather late. So I guess we're going to just play a bit longer. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. I don't have school tomorrow or anything. It is summer vacation for me. So I can pretty much release whatever for the next, like, um, not two weeks. A week and some change. Um, yeah, my name is... <laughs> Jeez, such such a bad joke. I'll get artificial intelligence. Bill can get level design, and Ralph can get dialogues. That seems fine. Funky Beats LMAO is now off the market. It sold 260,181 units, generating 2,886. <laughs> what? 2,862,075 in sales. Nice. Send Debra on vacation. Okay. Could probably deal with getting another staff member, actually. Unlock, um, large games, I believe. So, yeah, here's our, um, booth. Not many. Well, comparatively into the future, not many. Yeah, we didn't make it into the top 100 booths. Once we gain more fans, we will. We got 100,000 though, which isn't bad. 177,000. Got a bunch of hype. High sound, high graphics. World design about there. Yeah, it'll be good to figure actually figure out these sliders 100%. I'm not, I'm still a bit fuzzy on the actual like where to place everything. Um, I am overworked right now, however, because I'm working literally everything, so Bill here can get world design, a good mix, Ralph can get sound, alright, yeah, that's good actually, no one's, um, we're going to get the, um, staff bonus, um, whatever it's called, when, when your staff are under, um, 100% worked. Today, Vonnie has announced their very own game console called the Play System. Apparently, the company has completely reworked their earlier Play System prototype after an Invento cancelled the project. The new Play System comes with a CD-ROM drive and 32-bit processors and is wholly owned by Sony Vonnie. <laughs> Industry professionals say that this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles. Invento declined to comment. The PlayStation will enter the market in two months. I somehow doubt that's going to be a very successful console. Just kidding, of course. Alright, so we unlocked sequels, which is great, because just like 
the modern AAA industry in real life, we can just pump out, keep pumping out sequels from like 10 years ago. All right, PlayStation system was released. Finish up there, record and everything. Yep. Yeah, new topic, good management. Okay, that's what it's called. Yeah, leveled up 3D Graphics V1 which to level three, which means we unlocked 3D Graphics V2. Deborah got a raise, branching story, dialogue tree, day and night cycle, 3D Graphics V2. So now we are going to, well, I'll do a game report quickly. I'll see the reviews first. For Game Dab, <laughs> Game Dab Tycooner. Very enjoyable, shows potential, quirky but good, and could have been better. Okay, not the best, could be worse. 3D Graphics V2, and something, 15 points, Day Night Cycle, do we want that? Yeah, and then we'll save for sequels, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do generate a pretty decent amount of research points from game reports. That's why they're so crucial when you're starting out to actually unlock things. Alright, sound seems to be quite important. Okay. Oh, closed for some reason. New engine. Dirty Graphics V2. Get rid of this again. Yeah, everything here, multiplayer, all this, L editor, open world, day and night cycle, stereo sound. I like to keep some older options, so um, that if um, uh, well for the future, since um you can like over allocate, I guess it is like um on certain areas if it's like too high for a game, say you have like a medium game, 3D graphics V7, which is a thing in the future, like that'll be overkill, way overkill. I'm not sure how to explain it, but um, so yeah, I do like to have um, options, older options, so it let we have some room to work it there. Um, space. <laughs> Oh my god. Saps? We'll just leave it like that. That's fantastic, actually. Space. It, it's S-A-P-C-E, but we pronounce it space. Because we think in the future here. That's great. That was pretty funny, actually. Alright. Finish that up. <laughs> Lord. Alright. And it is now complete. So I think I'm. We're going to end it here. Actually, I'll throw in that extra free content. Unlock sequels and new topic. Really quick, virtual pet. That's OP. Actually, that's a pretty OP topic combination. That's used way into the game. Later into the game by me, anyway. It's pretty good. Train actually. Um, tech, 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 technology, okay. So yeah, we'll unlock all this, and next episode we will progress pretty nicely. Hopefully it won't be late at night, so um, we can actually have a decently decent length episode. But I'm sure this is still about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Um... So yeah, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Have a good morning if um, you're somewhere where it's morning right now. Um, well, or when it's wa you're watching this. And um, yeah, thank you very much all for watching. Have a good one.